Great Tales One. I'm here with another video, and today is my 100 video special. And as you see, something different. What is different? Well, this. Today is my 100 video special, and I just wanted to do something big, even though it's the biggest thing I could think of. I have no idea. Today is my face reveal, and as you can see, obviously this is a face, and you can hear my voice if you see my videos. That is same voice as the one talking right now. So yes, this is the voice behind Crazy House One. I know, beautiful, right? <laughs> no, I know not really. I'm hideous, ugly, whatever people want to say. But yep, this is the voice behind Crazy House One. This is the voice that's been here since June when they first started with the Characters Uprising unboxing, all the way to now with gameplay videos and the four main things on the channel: Nintendo. Data UE Games, Power Rangers Super Sentai, and Kamen Rider. This face has been doing it the whole time. I wasn't really going to do a face reveal at first because I, as my original 100 video was probably just going to be like another episode of Fire Emblem or something like that. But I just thought, you know, it's 100 videos. I know people get 100 videos all the time with gameplay videos, but see, that's the thing about my channel. It's not just gameplay, it's other stuff too, reviews unboxing so I thought getting to a hundred videos finally it should be something special since you know I never saw my face before even though if you saw my day 13 videos in the fall you might have saw my face because of the TV where I was recording off the Best Buy thing you probably would have saw it but yeah this is the face I should probably cut my hair because summertime is going to get hot I should probably cut my hair but I might do it later <laughs> Well, by the time of this recording, by the way, I just want to get this out the way. The Xbox One got revealed today. I have no say on it. I might get it. I I don't know. So, yeah, I just want to get it out of the way. So, you can tell when this recording this will be on a Tuesday. This is going to be on Saturday. It's today. Get out of the way. So, 100 videos. How did I get this far? Even though 100 videos ain't that far. And, oh, yeah. So, I know, as you can see in the back of me... My Wii U box is right there. That's kind of where I do most of my recording at. Sometimes just other places, but yeah, over there is where I do most of my recording at. So, I mean, that's like a pre... You can see my kind of setup right there or something like that. <laughs> so, yeah, 100 videos. Hmm. Where should I start off this? First, I just want to say thank you for all my subscribers that been sticking with me for the past almost a year it's about to be a year since i started making youtube videos even though i should just actually get the um disclose this right now i actually was making videos before on here on youtube it was like in 2011 magic trick videos probably know i never saw that far so i had to change it so i actually was on youtube before making card tricks i mean they were good but the thing is nobody was watching it so i didn't want to do like just waste my time doing that so i just stopped i came back time time probably play one card trick a day but at the end of the day nobody really watched this so i just left my youtube channel like that and now it became what it is today the nintendo slash due game slash power rangers slash super sentai slash common rider and we'll get to that last one later in the video but I guess I should talk about my history through YouTube here on my 100 video special since it's 100 video if I'll do something special. So, like I said before, to start off, I started with card tricks. On here, nobody really watched it at all. It was, I mean, they were good, but nobody watched it. So I just stopped doing that. And then when I, later in the fall of that year... I put up another video, nobody really watched it. It was just some random thing. And then, yeah, fast forward to June 2012. I said, you know what? I'm going to decide to do something with this. I decided to revamp my channel to what it is now. Before I got to it, it was just a Nintendo channel. Because in June, I did a video to revamp channel. The next one after that was just my announcement of how my channel's going to go. All this stuff had really never happened. Only one thing that kept was unboxing videos. And reviews for the most part was. But I had to put on hiatus for that for a reason. I'll tell you that later. 
But yeah, my first unboxing, or should I say my first official video will be my was my Kid Icarus Uprising. Oh yeah, also I should announce right here since it's 100 video special. My next Let's Play, if you know the season finale of Mario Kart 7 happened a week or two ago. That was the season 1 finale of season 2 will start later on the rest of the videos. Mario 3D Land, Star Fox 64 of them. They'll be later. That's why I spun over the season so I have more time doing other games instead of focusing on one. I'm going to announce right now my secondary Let's Play that I do along with my main Let's Play because like you saw Super Mario 3D Land, it was Super Mario 3D Land along with Star Fox and now it's Fire Emblem along with Mario Kart 7 but Fire Emblem was more longer and that's my main Let's Play Fire Emblem since it's more longer it's, this is the first time that it will be another game alongside Fire Emblem that was going to supposed to be another main game well it's kind of confusing Let's forget about that. <laughs> Basically, my secondary Let's Play is going to be on Monday by the time of this recording. This 100 video would be today, which is a Saturday. So on Monday, my next Let's Play would be Kid Icarus Uprising. That would be on Monday at seven, at, um, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. So look forward to that. The, originally, I was going to do The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. But if you haven't heard about the whole Nintendo ID claiming thing, I just want to avoid that. I was so originally it was gonna be Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. But for now I'm gonna I'm gonna still do it, but just later down the line. So I just jump to Kid or Chris Uprising. Even though I, I never played I never beat that game, so that's gonna be shocking to me once I complete it. So that's it should be very interesting. Don't tell me in the comment section below if people actually watch this video. <laughs> Don't tell me how it ended if you know how Kid Icarus Uprising ended. So, that's my secondary let's play, Kid Icarus Uprising, on Monday, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. So, back to my history on YouTube. Like I said before, Nintendo stuff, June, even though I wasn't putting that much up, it was Kid Icarus Uprising. Which is going to segue to my next part, which I'm going to actually stop this portion of the video and just like transmute you know like just cut to another section of the video like you know it's like me right now and this gonna be another thing and this gonna be back to me basically it's another thing i want to acknowledge in my 100 video special since i wouldn't be this far if it wasn't for this th website <laughs> it's called swag bucks now swag bucks if you saw my earlier videos with my unboxings i do videos on swag bucks before i haven't done them recently since i haven't got anything from swag bucks recently which i'm going to be doing now well, I really don't have to now since part of RPM Network, which will be later. <laughs> so, anyway. If you don't know what Swagbucks is, Swagbucks is basically a reward website. Not one of those fake rewards. This one actually was worked. I was skeptical at this at first, but it actually worked. So, right now I'm going to show you a video on Swagbucks. Not my video, a video on Swagbucks that they made by themselves. To show you what Swagbucks is. I'm going to put in my link in the description below. Below. If you want to sign up for the website, it's a really great website. If it wasn't for this website, I wouldn't have games like Mario Tennis Open, New Smart Brothers 2, Paper Mario Sticker Star, New Smart Brothers U, Batman Arkham City, Zombie U, Fire Emblem Awakening, and the Money More from Power Rangers Complete Series Unboxing along with the movie. All those things were because of Swagbucks. I didn't have to spend a dollar on it. It, was, it came free for me. So if you don't know what it is, I'm not really going to explain it since I explained it before to my probably never looked at those videos. So I'm just gonna show you a video right now on what Swagbucks is. So here you go. Be rewarded with Swagbucks, the web's premier digital dollar. Every day over a billion people around the world go online to search the web, make purchases, share opinions, answer questions, play games, socialize, and more. For most folks, all that activity can result in a pile of bills, spam, and wasted time. But what if there were one trusted location where you could do all those same activities and earn virtual currency in the process? Currency which you could use to get anything from gift cards, electronics, MP3s, video games, and more. And better yet, what if it was all free? Well, that's the 
the idea behind swag bucks. What are swag bucks? They're sort of like frequent flyer miles for being online. There are many different ways to earn swag bucks, and regardless of how many or few you've accumulated, you can always find great prizes in the swag store, which can be yours for free. No strings, no gimmicks. It's really that simple. Start today by completing your free registration and downloading our toolbar. Soon you'll be winning swag bucks periodically as you search the web. Then join our community on Facebook, Twitter, and beyond to discover more great ways to earn swag bucks. If you're already doing it online, you should be rewarded with swag bucks, the web's premier digital dollar. So like you saw in the video for swag bucks, it's a reward website. You earn free stuff by just doing surveys, watching videos, playing games. It's a really great website. The only problem is it's just time consuming. That's the only thing I have to hate about that. It's just, it's just so much time consuming. You will waste lots of hours on there, but it's worth it because you're getting the stuff for free. Like I told you all this stuff, all the boxes I had after Kidder's Uprising was solely because of Swagbucks. I did not spend a dollar on any of the stuff that I showed you. It's all because of Swagbucks. I'm going to put my link in the description below on the Swagbucks website. And so if you want to sign up, go ahead. Alright, so back to my history on YouTube for the 100 video special. After, yeah, let's start with Nintendo, Kidder, Uprising, Unboxing, Paper Mario, Sticker Star, that type of new Smart Brothers 2, Mario Tennis Open, those types of unboxings. That, but then we're going to segue to how my channel became from Nintendo to the WE games as well. So, like, this is where it became too. It's four now, five technically, but it's two. So, for Day Wii Games, how that started was basically when THQ, which is now defunct, or defunct, I should say, <laughs> when THQ got, before it got shut down, they announced that they were going to be showing Day Wii 13 on Best Buy. So, I thought, at first, I had no idea how this was going to actually get me big at all. This is this is basically what got me big. I want to say big. I'm not that big, but this is basically got me noticed. How I got thousand views right now. Why I have that amount of video views total was because of Daily Game. So that's why I'm still keeping it on my channel. If it wasn't for them, I would not probably have as much views. I'm gonna be making hundred video special. I probably would have never got to that. So basically, what happened? I decided to go to Best Buy, record Daily Thirteen gameplay footage. Not because I wanted to get the most views. I was never my intention. I thought it was never gonna happen. But I decided to just record just to show people how the game looks since it was near me. I recorded some like 20 or 40 some videos on Day 13. If you haven't seen them there, all my older videos, just check them out. I don't know why I'm pointing back there. It's not like there's something back there that will show you where it's at. So, <laughs> yeah. Besides that, I, so I put on my channel. I was not expecting to get the views I got on that those videos. The Cactus Jack debut currently got like, what, 40,000 views on my channel. So basically, my Day 13 video is my highest view video videos on my channel. I have to admit that. That's the ironic part. My main channel is Nintendo, but something that was not part of my channel got the most views. It just shows that I I, I didn't have a fan base of people want to see W13 videos. That's why I did. That's how I that was the start on how I was able to montage my videos. I had montaged them before but I didn't get paid anything. That's when I got paid a lot of money. I'm not, I can't tell you since I'm under contract. I can't tell you how much I make on YouTube. But I'm going to say during that time between, what, October and January, that's where all I had a lot of money. Not saying I'm not, I'm not going to get any money now. I'm just, that's where all the money, a lot of it came from. But it's because of that time period. So I had to thank Davey Gaines for that. <laughs> And the funny part about that is I actually didn't get paid until March. The reason is because I'm an idiot and I didn't realize that you can get paid on YouTube. That's how you can show I was in it for the money at first. I didn't even know you can get paid on YouTube. Like, that's just crazy. <laughs> so when I finally found out, all the money that was supposed to come, like, I got less if I got it monthly from October. But since I waited until, like, February, since I didn't know until February you get paid on YouTube... I can't tell you how much I made it. It was just a lot. And I never made that much money before at one time. So I congratulate Davy Games for that. That's why it's still it's a staple on my channel. I've been starting making videos recently, if you haven't checked them out. They're just like 
full-length matches and like recreation of actual day matches that happened just in day week 13 for him. Oh yeah, by the way, I know somebody's going to say something about this. Game Catcher. I'm going to get a Game Catcher probably this year. Because I know since I'm part of a network now, which we'll get to later, I should get, put my videos higher quality, like how they should be. So I'm going to get a Game Catcher just probably later. No time soon, but I hopefully before the end of the year. Definitely before this year is over, I'm going to get a game capture. So my so I can start actually doing Wii U game. I'm not going to do a Wii U game. That's only doing 3DS game. Because only doing 3DS games because I don't support emulation or modding in 3DS. That's only doing how they are now. That's how I'm always going to see them. Unless in the tone somehow come up with a device that you can actually do it legally. Because I'm not in for the moderation modding part of it. So I'm going to keep it as it is like that. But that's how WWE Games became part of my channel here on YouTube. And that'll segue to another video that I'm going to cut away from my Fortune 100 video special to another YouTuber on here. You, He's not like he, obviously not as known as me, but he barely goes on YouTube. I, he's one of, he's like a friend of mine that I met through putting up the WWE 13 videos. And I actually, he's part of Swag Bucks too. I got him in the Swag Bucks and he's doing way better than me on it. So... <laughs> I guess you at least give him credit for that. His name is Daniel. I'm going to post his video on the most recent YouTube video that he put on his channel. I don't know why I'm pointing up here. It's not like the video's going to be right here. I'm about to show you his video. You should go subscribe to him. He basically, like, he was a Davey fan. I don't think he is now. He basically is a collector. He collects, he's a Money Worth and Power Ranger fan. But also Dragon Ball Z. Old stuff. And also big fan of Batman. If you haven't heard Arkham Origins coming out this year, he's really excited for that. So I'm about to show you one of his videos. He actually has the figure arts, and that shows like his collection of figure arts and the Power Ranger stuff. He got this the Shogun Megazord before me. I was gonna do. Oh, by the way, the figure arts, which I'm actually I'm just gonna talk about that later. Here's a video on Daniel and his money and his collection of figure arts and money working power ranger items. So here you go. Para Jack has the battle. Pretty good paint job. But yeah, uh, that's my collection, guys. Um, keep you guys updated um, once I get some more stuff. But uh, anyways, um, subscribe, leave a comment below if you have any questions. Just uh, uh, take care, guys. Until next time. So as you can see, Daniel is a collector for the SHA figure arts, you know what they is, they're basically high quality figures that are for an older audience, for like ages 15 and up, instead of, you know, like four year olds who play with the figure and just break them, these are high quality figures that collectors would get, instead of like a normal eight year old or whatever. <laughs> so that's Daniel, I'm going to put his link in the description below for him, so you can subscribe to his channel, like I said, I... Me and him met each other when I put the Day 13 videos up. Not in public, just through like social media or whatever. We became friends and he, I taught him Swagbucks too. I'm just show you that it wasn't fake. That's where he gets most of his stuff at, through Swagbucks. Because it's, I mean, it's Swagbucks a website that works. You get free stuff, you just have to work for it. That's the thing that people don't understand about Swagbucks. It's a website that would work, you will get free stuff. $100 gift cards to Amazon, $500 gift cards to Amazon. The thing is, you just have to work for it. People won't, unfortunately, do that. They expect money to get to them all the time. So, but, like I said, Swagbucks work. He does it. He does better than me. So, if anything, you should just check out his channel. and put a link in the description below. Go subscribe to him. 
And yeah, thanks, Dan. You're part of my so just basically a shout out in my hundred video to you. So basically, now I'm going to be talking about my other portion of the uh, my channel, my third part, how this became to be was is the Power Rangers slash Super Sentai. I say slash there. I consider them one because Power Rangers and Super Sentai are basically same thing. Super Sentai is basically Power Rangers. Power Rangers is basically Super Sentai. Differences, Super Sentai came first. Super Sentai is a Japanese source material for Power Rangers. All the action footage, the Zora footage, you ever saw Power Rangers. All the action footage, the Zora footage, all that comes from Super Sentai. I love Super Sentai. My favorite Super Sentai series is Hands Down Gold Busters, even though people, I don't know, can say difficult about that. Gold Busters was the best hand down. Before Gold Busters came out, I have to say Time Ranger because of the story. Even though Time Force is basically the same story on it. My favorite Power Rangers series, by the way, are Lost Galaxy, Lightspeed Rescue, Time Force, and Wild Force. That's where I, that, those are the series I grew up with when I was a kid. And I'm basically getting back into it just for like the nostalgia fact. Because 20th anniversary, Super Mega Force, we need that to go Kaiser, all that. But anyway, let's get back to how Power Rangers since I became part of my channel. So, it was like November of 2012, basically. Um, I got through Swagbucks, my with Power Rangers um, DVD collection and a movie. I started just doing boxing of it. It was like one of those special videos that since I never did that type of video that was not related to Nintendo or WWE games, I thought I was going to get anything. To my surprise, even though I got like 600 something views. Now, to me, anything over 100 views is worth something. Because that means a hundred people around the world watched it. Even though it's not really a lot. Sorry about that. <laughs> Even though it's not really a lot of views for some people. A six, uh, hundred views for me is still a lot. It's like So 600 views is just amazing. Even though I was making way more views than that. With my daily 13 videos at that time. 600 views is still a lot currently on my channel. It's still a lot to me. That's why I decided to go back into that. Now we get to the end of with the start of 2013. I did my 50th video special, was basically showing you my video game collection and what to expect on this channel. And that was basically one of the last videos I did in January, and the other only other video I did in February with the Fire Emblem unboxing and um, my freaking swag final swag video. I don't know why I said freaking. I just need something to say. <laughs> anyway. Basically, what happened was my YouTube channel decided to go on a decline. Now, it's basically my fault. Because, obviously, it was at its peak with the W13 videos of views and that. That's really shitty. <laughs> it was at its peak, but then, obviously, W13 is already out. There's no point in the videos. So, it went to a decline. So, I thought it was like that was the end. That was my 15 minutes of frame. But, no. I wasn't going to let that happen. Oh, yeah. You see behind me, this is my Bane poster from The Dark Knight Rises. I saw the trilogy in July 2012. Unrelevant to what I'm talking about now, but might as well just point it out. Anyway, my YouTube channel became one of the clients, so I said, you know what? It's time for me to do something about this. So I decided to add two more stuff to my channel, as well as upload more frequently, because that was the thing. When I made the 13 videos after that, I didn't upload as much, but I still got the views either way. This time, I had to make make sure that my stay on YouTube is actually going to be definite. It's not like someone's going to kick me out. It's just that if I was going to make any more views after that, it would be no point in staying back on YouTube. So, what I decided to do is add Power Rangers, Super Sentai, and Kamen Rider. Now, for Power Rangers and Super Sentai, after I saw that I have a fan base there, I decided just to make a History of Power Rangers preview. That's one of my other highest view videos in most recently. Basically, the view... My... I see my audience now on here on YouTube is my is Power Rangers Super Sentai Con Rider fans because that's where I get the, the um, videos that I make my most money on recently is because of those videos. So I don't know why I know I saw it lag right there for a second. <sighs> Sorry about that, but yeah, that's where I make most of my money at is Power Rangers, which shocked me. I didn't know that people. Like, still watch Power Rangers and people, that much people would watch it. So that was just a shock to me. That's why I'm keeping it here. So basically what happened after that was, aside when I added Power Rangers Super Sentai Kamen Rider, 
I saw, you know, it's time for me to finally do gameplay videos. That's where the gameplay videos started. So I started with Super Mario 3D Land. It ran its course for eight episodes. That was the end of season one. It's going to continue sooner or later. And then I decided to do Star Fox. Did that too. Seven episodes, season one, later. And then Fire Emblem is currently running. New episodes every Thursday and Sun Sunday. Same as Pugman, I know. And... <laughs> Uh, Mario Kart 7, I aired that, it was basically 7 episodes, 8 episodes, because 8 courses, season, um, 2 later, all those seasons will be later, and that's that, that's how I started to do gameplay videos, my gameplay videos are not as much as they were when the Day 13 videos out, but I understand that, because I put up the Day 13 videos, when day 13 wasn't out. That's how you get views. That's how this is how you get views, people. When you put out stuff that's not actually released to the public. I still want to I still put out a day 13 video, but obviously I don't get as much. So yeah, Power Rangers Super Sentai. Another thing that I add, which is announced picture on my channel, is my Towards Us trip to power, for a search of Power Ranger stuff. Now at first I wasn't going to do Toys R Us because I don't know. I decided to go to Toys R Us one day just to see if anything. I started to record it too, just to see if anything was there. I had footage of it. I was gonna put it on my channel. I was actually in another shameless plug-in. I'm going to be talking about um if you don't know this channel MMPR Toys. I'm about to show you his video on another shameless plug-in right now. I know, so I'm about to just skip from my part to another video and then you can see back to me again. I'm about to show you MMPR Toys. He is the reason why I got back into Power Rangers, basically. So I graduated him. I'll put his channel in the description below. His name is Bruno. Also on his channel is Mia and... I know what it... Um, man, I forgot the other one. It's not because I don't watch your, all your videos I do. It's just that my memory is fading. <laughs> so Bruno and Mia and... Oh, Jeremy. Jeremy. There you go, Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremy is there. Those three. They do NPR stuff. He's a big fan of Power Rangers. I think he's a fan of Kamen Rider too. I don't know. I'm about to put up one of his videos right now. So I'm about to segue from me to Bruno. Put his channel. It's called NPR Toys and Link description below. So here you go. So, I'm going to put his channel description below. Bruno, he's the reason why I got back into Power Rangers. We're basically with him. So, shout out to you, Bruno, Mia, and Jeremy. Thank you. <laughs> so, yep, yeah, that's that. I guess the last thing to talk about now is... Oh, yeah, so basically, Toys R Us is a fixture get, that basically gets... Where I get most of my money at on YouTube currently through views is the Power Rangers Toys R Us trips. That's why it's a fixture on my channel. It's going to stay there. I haven't been in there for like a week or so. I should get back there soon. So don't worry about that. Last thing you hear on Comrider. Now it's not really much to talk about for Comrider. Because that's the only thing I haven't started yet. Which leads me to my basically last portion of the video. Not actually, no. There's one more thing to talk about. The RPM Network. This is basically the reason why I'm still here on YouTube. Because of RPM Network. I thought... Because of the subs, subscribers I have in my video views, I thought I should get part of a network. Now, I, I knew what networks are and stuff. It was, you know, network you get partnered. Like, you know, Machinima. Um, I have my butcher name. No, I care about Machinima anymore. Machinima, TGN, RPM. I didn't even know about RPM. But now I'm part of them. TGN. At first, I want to get part of Machinima. Why can I not say the name? I was going to get partnered with them, but I did not know that they was having a financial problem, so that just cut me off. I couldn't get partnered with them anyway, though the ironic part is that someone I know on YouTube got partnered with them, and I had more subscribers and video views than them, which I have no idea how that works, but I guess it's just their way of partnering, even though I don't know why they didn't partner me anyway. 
TGN, that was the channel, that was the partnership I wanted to get partner on, but I'm perfectly fine where I'm at now. I actually prefer where I'm at now than with TGN, because TGN are like, I had the required stuff. I had 1,000 views a day, that kind of stuff. They never got back to me, so I was going to wait forever. It was like two weeks, they never got back to me. I said, okay, I guess they don't, they don't want to accept me. And then I went to RPM. My friend who was partnering with Shimon told me about RPM. I joined them. Less than 10 minutes, I got partnered. Because obviously I met all the requirements. And basically now I'm, so yeah, I'm part of the RPM Network link. If you want to apply for a partnership, link in the description below. I don't know why I'm pointing down. Obviously people do that, so point in the description box. <laughs> okay, so I'm part of the RPM Network. That's the reason why I'm still here on YouTube, basically. So now, like, I get paid to put videos. I was getting paid before, but now, like, I'm, this is, like, actually, I'm working for a company. So now I'm, I'm working for a company. I have to produce stuff to get paid. So, me, no, I'm not getting paid that much. I don't get that much views anyway. So I'm obviously just, I'm not doing this for the money. I just want to do this to entertain you guys and put it out there right now. Sure, I would like to get paid to do this. I mean, I, for, I'm sure I like money for when I put videos out. But I'm not getting paid a lot to do this, so <laughs> I'm just doing this for you guys, basically. That's that. So RPM Network done. Last thing to go over before I talk about what to expect for this channel later in the year is Common Rider. That's gonna be quick because out of all the my Nintendo Day Wii games, Power Super Sentai, Common Rider, Common Rider is the only thing I haven't done yet. I was originally going to do before I did. Oh, by the way, if you saw before I did a Robo Knight episode review, because Mega Force episode reviews, I know I never did one after that. I can now announce that Mega Force episode reviews would be on June 22nd. It's the review on Mega Mission, the first episode of Mega Force. So June 22nd, they will return with a new review every week after that. You know how many episodes Mega Force has by that point? They're only at nine currently, so it's gonna be nine, eight reviews. Guard the Robo Knight. I don't know why I'm pointing back there. So Mega Force episode reviews return on June twenty second. I know it's a long way from now, so just I hope you wait for that and enjoy the review that I did for those episodes. A new review every Saturday after that. So Kamen Rider, I'm going to do it. Originally, I was gonna do a like a whole re one video review on the whole entire series of Deno, but I decided to hold on off for that for like another time. I'm gonna get to that sooner or later, but I'm gonna do that for later. So now for the final section of this video, I am going to be talking about what they expect for the summer and fall and for the rest of the year, basically. Now for the summer, I'm not gonna be putting up videos frequently as much as I do now, like one new video every day. I'm not going to be able to do that because this summer I got to do other stuff. <laughs> so you get, basically, I'm, I'm not going to say what I, I'm not, I'm not doing anything illegal. I'm just like, I do stuff over summer so you guys will be getting better videos in the fall. So basically summer is when I do most of the work so I can get paid to produce more videos in the fall. <laughs> They're going to be better videos in the fall than they are in the summer. They're going to be videos in the summer. Basically, summer's gonna be more focusing on Power Rangers, Super Sentai, Kamen Rider than my Nintendo and WWE games. They're still gonna exist, but on a summer, basically gonna be more atoned to them. Like, there's gonna be more WWE, there's gonna be more Power Rangers, Kamen Rider, and Super Sentai than for the for the summer. So basically, what to expect for the summer? The SH Figure Arts, the Red Ranger. The Green Ranger for Money from Power Rangers and the White Ranger for Power Rangers, as well as the Shogun Megazord. You should respect, I mean, expect <laughs> those reviews of me getting, I mean, those SH figure arts. You should see that on my channel later this year, in the summer, not later this year, in the summer. As well for Kamen Rider, basically, you ain't gonna see those until you see Kamen Rider, because for Kamen Rider, the first video I'm gonna do for Kamen Rider is gonna be a review. Or a box of fashion view for the SH Figure Art Kamen Rider Deno Den Liner form, which is my favorite Kamen Rider ever, Den Liner. That's why I waited, because he finally came out like a week or two ago. So I just waited for that. So I'm going to do my first Kamen Rider. So I'm mousing right now. My first Kamen Rider video ever is going to be on a 
unboxing slash toy review on Comrider Deno Denliner for him. So expect that in the summer as well. So that's when Comrider finally gets started. And I'm going to collect more SA figure arts for Comrider as well. And like I said, for summer as well, besides the Mega Force episode reviews for Power Rangers Super Sentai, expect SA figure arts of Red Ranger, Money Orphan Red, Money Orphan Green, Money Orphan White, and the Shogun Megazord. I mean, Shiokin, not Shogun, Shiokin Daijujin, which is Japanese name for the regular Megazord for Money Morphin Power Rangers. Inspect those SV Vigor Toys and Boxing Reviews during the summer as well, as well as because on Amazon. I didn't get it before because it was on Time Life, but on Amazon they're going to release in July. Inspect an unboxing on the Money Morphin Power, oh no, not Money Morphin, Power Rangers Season 4 through 7 DVD. Set, expect an unboxing on that as well during summer. Like I said, it's going to be more focusing on Power Rangers Super Sentai Kamen Rider than 9 to 10 and Dayui stuff in the summer. For it's a, Summer is basically the summer of Power Rangers Super Sentai Kamen Rider for my channel. It can be more focusing on that than ever before, as well as Toys R Us trips as always. <laughs> so let's see. Also, one more thing for Super Sentai. I kept saying Super Sentai. No, I'll focus on more Power Rangers. Super Sentai is, like I said before, Japanese version. The source material for all the footage that Power Rangers uses. For them, I also plan on doing season reviews. Instead of episode reviews, because I'll take forever to do season reviews. I was going to currently work on Time Ranger and Go Busters during the summer, so expect those in the fall. For Super Sentai, but for Super Sentai in the summer, expect SH Figure Arts and Toys Unboxing for Red Buster, Blue Buster, and Yellow Buster. And maybe the Go Kaiju, but definitely the Go Buster line. Even though the one that's the most affordable is Red Buster, because Blue and Yellow Buster were what, um, web exclusives. So expect those for the SH Sense Go Busters, my favorite Super Sentai series ever. <laughs> expect those unboxings on that. And that is basically how my channel go for the summer now for the fall and with basically holiday they're gonna get back to nintendo and day we games expect recordings of day we 2k14 they ever released on best buy you you damn well be sure that i'm going to be doing that on when it gets to the fall whenever you decide to go on best buy or any other store by the way e3 is coming up Here's another thing that you should look out for is during the summer. This is probably my only Nintendo stuff I'm going to be doing during the summer. When E3, if you hadn't heard, Nintendo said that they're going to be partnering with Best Buy to show off the game. You better be sure. If it's a Best Buy, one of the Best Buys is going to be there. I I'm going to say I live in Philadelphia. If there's a Best Buy in Philadelphia, I'm going to be down there recording gameplay of all the Nintendo sets going to be there. 3D Mario, Mario Kart, Zelda, Super Smash Brothers, all of it. So you best be sure it's going to be on my channel later this year. Not later this year, June. <laughs> in June next month, once I find out that it's going to be here in Philadelphia, I'm going to go there, record it, put it on my channel. Not because of the views, but just the sh more gameplay footage of Nintendo stuff for E3 later this year. For unboxings for Nintendo later this year, I said before... Pokemon Y. Uh, let's see. Is there, that's the only thing I know for certain is Pokemon Y. The 3DS is going to be Pokemon. Oh yeah, Monster Hunter. It already came out, but later in the fall, expect Monster Hunter as well. Um, that's really it. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's basically it for Nintendo. So far as far I know, for Wii U, it's going to be Monster Hunter. Rayman Legends, which is finally coming out. I was waiting for that. Super Luigi, and it's not going to be unboxing, if I get the disc, it will be in the box, I might just get the DLC, but it will be on my channel by then, it should be Game Capture, that as well, as well as if a 3D Mario game comes out, expect that, and Mario Kart comes out this year, expect that, I know Super, I know Super Smash Bros. ain't coming out this year, so don't expect that, <laughs> so look forward to that, and for WWE for the fall, obviously 2K14, so look for that as well. So, I basically covered everything for my 100 video special. I guess the only thing left to say is, well, thank you guys. All, all I would not be here if it wasn't for you. 
It's just, it, I just never expected to be this person. I never expected to get 100 views on YouTube. And I never expected to get this far. I didn't get far, I only have 1,000. I only have like 1,000 stuff. But because I'm partnering with a network, I should be growing more and she expect more stuff on my channel than ever before. Thank you for everything, guys. I just, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you guys for giving me this far for 100 videos and hope for another 100 videos as well. Or 50 or 100. Because I would not be here if it wasn't for you. So I just want to say that. Thank you for watching this 100 video special. The face reveal. I know. Hideous. Probably cut my hair. Thank you for that guys. Just everything. I would not be here on YouTube if it wasn't for you. So thank you for all my subscribers. As well as everybody else who watched my views. Thank everybody who got me this far. Thank you for all the people I mentioned in the video. Daniel. MMPR Toys. Swagbucks. RPM Network. I would not be here without you guys. And I guess that's it. Thank you for watching how this video is special, guys. If you like today's video, hit the like button. And subscribe if you don't miss any of my other videos. And you won't miss my other video special. It'll probably be the 150th video special. <laughs> if Also, you can add me on Facebook. You can follow me on Twitter. You can follow me on Google Plus. I'm also starting a fan page for my YouTube channel as well for Facebook. So stay tuned for that. I will provide updates as when I get to it. <sighs> Thank you for watching, guys. And now since you see my face, I guess it's right we say is this. Thank you for watching. As always, this is Creative 2001 signing off. See ya. Bye. Thanks. Thanks for everything, guys. Creative 2001 signing off. See ya.
れ無我夢中なら怖いものなにもないのさ」「ノンストップアトゥリー」始まりはここにあるから今が一番古い歴史さ」